Hi, my name is David Fallis of the IBM WebSphere Application Server for ZOS Development Team in Poughkeepsie, New York. And my name is Don Bagwell from the IBM Advanced Technical Skills Organization at the Washington System Center. Together, we're here to give you a brief technical introduction to WebSphere Application Server for ZOS version 8. With that, let's begin. Don, you're up. One of the messages we wish to convey is the idea of WebSphere Application Server being a solution provider that works across different platforms. This is what allows you to right fit your application architecture to where it makes the most sense. IBM offers hardware across several different platform types, and on those hardware platforms, IBM offers several different operating system environments. WebSphere Application Server is offered across all those combination of hardware and operating systems with, and here's the key, a common and consistent set of open standard interfaces implemented across all the supported operating systems and hardware platforms. And underneath the open standard specification line, IBM offers specific platform exploitation. The exploitation that takes place on ZOS is what we'll focus on in this video. The common and consistent open standard interfaces provides the ability to write an application to those open standards and have it run on WebSphere Application Server on any platform. That allows you to deploy the applications where it makes the most sense given the nature and requirements of the application itself. WebSphere administrators see an essentially consistent administrative interface across all the supported platforms. Where differences exist, they exist down in the operational level, where things like server start commands are maintained. And with the introduction of the IBM Z Enterprise system, we see a mix of hardware and operating system platforms supported within a single logical management platform. The Z Enterprise system accentuates the value of WAS as a cross-platform solution provider across platforms. And we can take this one step further. IBM and other vendors are taking advantage of the solid foundation WAS provides and creating higher level solutions based on the cross-platform open standard Java EE runtime. So we have WAS offered across several hardware and operating system platforms with platform specific exploitation occurring below the line. The common and consistent open standard interface line is what provides higher level applications and solutions the opportunity to be platform neutral. And on top of that, IBM and other vendors build their solutions. Here we're representing some of IBM's offerings. And on top of that, you have the opportunity to exploit those solutions for the benefit of your business. Oh, and did we mention Z Enterprise and its ability to host multiple platform environments under a unified and consistent management umbrella? Now let's take a look at the contents of this video series. The first category is what we call further refinement in the proven base of WAS itself. WebSphere Application Server has been out for almost a decade now. During that time, open standards have evolved, new standards have been introduced, feature packs have been introduced and rolled into the product, and WAS itself has been tightened up, made more efficient and more reliable. As WAS V8 comes out, the same update and improvement process has taken place, just as it did in the past. The next category focuses on efforts to make the WAS is WAS across the platforms message even more applicable. We'll introduce two new functions of WAS. The first is the use of IBM's Installation Manager function for installing WAS on the ZOS platform. And the second is a new mechanism for logging that improves general efficiency and makes the logging format consistent across platforms. The final category involves greater exploitation of the ZOS platform. Now remember, WAS is WAS at the open standard line and above. That means here we'll discuss function that's been added below the open standard line. Some of the function we'll discuss is common to all platforms, and some of it is specific to ZOS. 